All right, what's up, everybody? Dr. Fatbody here, and today I'm going to be bringing you an updated Null DC tutorial. Um, this is for the 1.04 build of Null DC. We've had a couple builds after that have came, but they've had different problems here and there. This has been the most stable release that I've seen that commonly used throughout the community, so I figured I would make a tutorial video on it to help you be able to play all these amazing games. So the first thing we're gonna do is just like the original tutorial, if you don't already have these guys, you're going to go ahead and grab the DirectX Visual Redistributable C++ and the .NET Framework from these three links provided by this Google document, and I will share that. Uh, and you can find a link to this uh, Google document in the comments section. Once we've done that, you're going to hit the other link, and that link will be to this. This is the Null DC 1.04. This build comes with all ROM, BIOSes, and everything included. Uh, I am, however, going to be showing a, a full compatible games list at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around for that. Okay, guys, and after you have this downloaded, you're going to want to make sure you extract to desktop. And you'll see we have our file right here. I now have this file open, and this is what you're going to be seeing. So, guys, if you had an opportunity to see our first tutorial, you're going to note that it took a little bit, you know? It's still a lot shorter than the other tutorials out there, but... It was still a lot of setup, a lot of things that you had to do. I am here to tell you today that this is this is like the easiest setup on the planet, and I'm going to show you how. All right, so in this, the first thing we're going to want to run is the Assign Null DC Joystick Buttons batch file. This will pop up, and you see right here in the first line, uh, Found Joystick Gamepad with Name, Mine's the Cthulhu Multi-Console. It'll say D-pad or analog. I personally use D-pad. If you have an analog stick, you just you hit A. Basically, you either hit D or A and hit Enter. And then, then you're going to be prompted with this. And then you're going to go through and set all of your buttons up to, accordingly to what pops up on screen. So, all right. You'll see at the end there we end on coin button. Now that's good for the majority of stuff, but if you're trying to play games like King of Fighters 11, Neo Geo Battle Coliseum and stuff, uh, you won't actually be able to get into the game yet. What we're going to have to do is we're going to go to this file right here, Null DC 104 EN Win. We're going to go into QKO JAMA. We're going to find whatever yours was created as, like so mine was the Cthulhu Multi Console, so I'll go in. You'll see right here already, I have it's none equals test. And so I'm going to change that to button underscore 11. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. And now any of the SNK games will work. I don't know why it does this. We think that it has to do with mapping the same button to test and coin, which it naturally does if you don't apply one once you get into the game. Now that our controller is set up, our next step is going to be hitting the Windows batch file. This Windows batch file is going to be the Null DC launcher, so we'll double click that. And then you'll get this baby right here. So you see it looks a little different than the last one. It's actually a lot different. You'll see everything launches from the same place. And so here we have this little bit of convenience where you can actually save past connections that you've played against. So all these people I play with all the time, if I want to play someone, you know, I'll, I'm going to run home since it's, the, it's mine. Let's say if I want to play Blau, I hit home. My IP's already set in there. My port, it port's 27886 by default always. My delay is at zero since I am playing offline. Now, to go ahead and test your arcade stick, it's very, very simple. And we'll go here to Marvel vs. Capcom 2. You're going to click this, play offline. And then it's going to launch for you. Also, guys, another thing worth noting when you have this fully opened is you're going to want to make sure you're going to go here to Options. You'll go to Power VR. And then we're also going to go to aspect ratio, and you're going to want to make sure you have border selected and not extra geometry. That'll basically make it like a fake widescreen, and we don't want none of that. It's really ugly. Also, that's the same way that I have it all big like this, too, is I'm currently using it, and uh, it's available full screen mode. So, and you'll see, I hit the start button. Just like that, guys, literally, you can it can be done under a minute. We're set up. I guess it. I'm, I'm not, not even bullshitting with y'all. This is that's it. It is that easy. That's why, in my opinion, 1.04 uh, no DC netplay build has been just the bee's knees. This is revision two of 1.04.
to be able to get into the net play is actually going to be a lot easier than last time. You'll see uh, with our new launcher here we have you know host game and join game. If we were going to be hosting game, I already have mine in here. You would basically you would input your IP. Port's always going to be 27886, and then depending on where they're playing from, that'll be your delay. Generally, if it's not too far, you can get away with two to three. Anything further, you might want to bump up a little bit. It's going to be a bit unfortunate. And then all you would do is once you have that go, you would host game. And as soon as you've hosted and the game has uh, passed through, you'll tell your opponent to launch and they'll connect to you. Now, I'm going to show off how it would look to connect to somebody else. And I have my friend Chun. So we're going to connect on Marvel vs. Capcom 2. You'll see I have his IP inserted in here. I have the port 27886. My delay is 2. And I will go ahead and join him. And so now you'll see it's just like when we boot a game offline. And it's going to be the same when you host as well. And you know you're successful when you see that Naomi screen. If both of you have at the same time. If one of you sees it and the other one doesn't, it might be an issue you have to troubleshoot. Uh, if you do end up having any of those issues, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section, and I'll try to help to the best of my abilities. And all right, uh, we're going to get into this real quick. Unfortunately, uh, Chun does not currently have a stick. Uh, all of his sticks are just being worked on right now. So you'll see I can go around on player two now we're not player one anymore that's what that's what happens when we join someone else's game and yeah I can pick my characters get into the match and everything will be good uh, so guys uh, the next thing that I'm gonna get into you with is the games list uh, I went through and tested everything um, tested them offline and offline I've compiled a master list for you so without any further ado here are the games Get ready, building. Interception! 
machine gun. Welcome to the Power Stone world. Let the battle begin. Go! <laughs> Oh, no! Powerful! <laughs> <laughs> 
言葉でわからぬのなら逃げんなよ第一戦始め行きますよ強いのかラウンドワンファイトあっ。
Three, two, one, go! Let's go! Yeah! Another one! This time! Yeah! Ha! <laughs> 